Yes, shot to fame in one of television's most outrageous shows, Footballers' Wives. These days, though, she's more at home in the operating theatre as star surgeon Sahira Shah in this hit medical drama. Girl with pigtails, unusual mucus. Greg, easy one for you. Old guy, query with me. I don't really want the kid ones. Oh, yeah, I forgot you get over-involved and it makes you a sad little squirrel. I don't have a problem with dealing with children, you know. Don't have to prove it to me. I don't need any favours. Yeah, but I hate old people always banging on about pensions. It makes me feel guilty. Come on, discharge the easy guy. Thank you. And if you need to talk... Yeah, I'll let you know. Please welcome Leila Ruas. I was going to fall down those stairs. Most people are. I'm touching audio when I said we haven't had one so far in four <laughs> years, so it's all right. But you've got to look very careful, haven't you? See, she's an amazing character, this Sarah, because we're talking here about head versus heart, aren't mm -hmm. we? I mean, this is a woman who is a surgeon, but whose emotions are very much to the well, fore. Well, yeah, you know, she's a working mother as well, so she's trying to juggle this sort of, you know, I think... So in t you know, today you think you can be great as a parent and as, you know, working full-time, whether it's a doctor, whatever it is. And sometimes you can't put 100% into both things, you know. Um, so she's doing her best and she does get emotionally, you know, attached to some of the patients because she's a mom, mm. you know, and you just do. But she's still sort of quite aggressive, but it's more, it's more passive. You know, she's not like Jack Naylor, who's in your face, you know, you, you know, well, you know what she's like. <laughs> you know, out to get what she wants by any means necessary. I think with Sahira, she's more sort of, you know, cupcakes and smiles and, you know, you know darling and all of that. So she's a lot softer in her Is approach. Is development of character something that's very important to you when you're in a role like well, that? You, have you to... want to see it going forward. Yes, of course, and you've got to sort of remember not to play yourself because mm. a lot of the times, you, you know, you can fall into that when you're doing a long, you know, like a drama like this that's, you know, on all the time and you're in it quite a lot. So you have to sort of find ways of reinventing the character or, you know, giving her new sort of, I don't know, it could be mannerisms, it could be anything. Mm. Um, so, yeah, you've got to... It keeps you on, the t on your toes. What about the medical jargon? I mean, you oh. come out with all these long words Do you know, things. I don't know what I'm saying most of the time. <laughs> I'm, like, going, what does it mean? You know what? Don't tell me, because I do really... You know, I've got to just concentrate on saying it. But the thing is... When you're doing a scene, sometimes they, get, they give you these files and, you know, just as a prop, so you walk here pretending to look through this file. But in the file, they've actually got medical facts. So by the end of the day, I think I'm... You know, I've got a brain aneurysm coming. I'm <laughs> with bowel cancer, possible, like, you know, symptoms of bowel cancer. And I'm on, my, on the phone to my doctor going, you've got to put me an MRI scan. I need a colonoscopy. I need an endoscopy. And they're like going, what is wrong? So you become a bit of a hypochondriac. You've got to be really careful. Well, Roger Moore was one that once told that uh, he said, he said um, my doctor says, you know, I'm a hypochondriac. He said, I'm not a hypochondriac. He said, hypochondriacs think there's something wrong with them. I know there's something wrong with them. <laughs> yourself that there's something wrong. Any time for any stage work in between all this, anything else? Well, I'm mean? doing um, the Vagina monolo Monologues on Sunday, this Sunday. It's at the South Bank. It's a South Asian festival that's happening starting Friday. Um, and it's two weeks um, of just lots of music, concerts, um, poetry reading. This weekend is Sufi. It's sort of revolved around Sufism. So there's a lot of concerts there. So if you're into, like, you know, the whole Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan vibe, it'll be a fabulous weekend uh, poetry reading. We're, go we're there performing. It's a one-off performance, Vagina Monologues. There's me, the fabulous Mira Sayal, Shelley Khan, Indra Varma, some great actresses. So it's going to be fun. I'm really looking forward Wonderful to it. Names. Yeah. But you've then got to presumably keep... How, how often do you, do, you, do you work on Holby now? What's the... Oh, it's, it's seven to seven every day. Yeah, and you're fitting seven... this in in between? And I'm fitting this in, yeah. But it's, it's something worse than I being really... a real doctor. It really is. Yeah, I'll do all the best as well. I wake up in the middle of the night going, colonoscopy... No. That's right. <laughs> Heart attack. No, 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 no. So you kind of, you just, you know, you think, it, oh, it's crazy. But it is 12 hours a day, you're every day. You're living it. Well, good luck with yeah. that. We hope you don't catch anything that you read in one of your <laughs> files. <laughs> but that you do actually manage to get a decent audience on the South Bank. Yeah. Remind us which night it is then. It's your... where I'm there Sunday with the yeah. rest of the girls doing the vagina monologues. You can yeah. get tickets online on the South Bank uh, website. Wonderful. Very exciting. It. We'll give you a nice rest and a bit of Riverside air. <laughs> yes, yes. Bless her heart. <laughs> Lovely to talk to you. Thank As you ever. for having what me. What a here. day. <laughs> Katie Waisel and Layla. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Layla Ruas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.